I didn't even know when that I was going to be known for that. <laughs> so, I'm sure some of you have heard that I'm trying to promote LGBT <laughs> activities. Um, so, I decided there's a lot of mystery about what LGBT activities are and I'm here to help you to improve your LGBT activities. Alright? So, the... You know, I mean, so that you can be a true LGBT, yeah, if you ever want to be. The first thing is to look constipated, yeah? <laughs> LGBT activists all need to look constipated. Come on, give me your constipated look. <laughs> okay, you know why you're constipated? It's more than just because you're full of shit. It's because the government is in your rectum, okay? <laughs> There's a law that tells you what you can and cannot put in your ass. So you need to douche, okay? This is... This is what LGBT activists do, we douche, you know, so that you can make clean for anal sex, but also so that you can get the government out of your ass, then you can have anal sex better, okay? I mean, seriously, right? What, what, the, what, what is the government doing in your rectum? Okay, so, if you can't get them out, you can finger it out, okay? Now, this is me dipping my finger into the indelible rainbow ink, okay, and we went to vote. Because we are Malaysians, LGBT people are also citizens. We are part of this country. We campaign, we help, we pachat. And this is me deciding that, you know what? I'm not going to wait for the government to make me a citizen. I'm a citizen because I claim the right to claim my rights. Yeah? This is... And you can do it yourself. Make your own IC. Seriously. Waga negara lelaki gay. Hubungan dengan Malaysia, roommate. So this is my coming out of the closet. When I come out of the closet, <laughs> this is my IKEA closet. So when I come out of the closet, it's not just as a gay man. I'm coming out as a citizen of Malaysia. I'm coming out as Malaysian. I'm coming out as human being. I'm coming out as your friend, as your family. And this is my mother. When I came out to her, she said to me, why didn't you tell me earlier? Then I said, you know, you know why? And she said, Actually, I do. It must have been really lonely inside there, not to be able to tell me, and I know why. And for the first time, I felt she sees me, I felt seen. And then she said, but what will people say? And then I said to her, you know, you're an expert in living your life according to what people say. Has that brought you happiness? No, right? So maybe we try our way, and then together, we can forget what people say. What do we say about it? So then I started to organize things for my community, for the LGBT people to come together to talk. This is us creating Sexuality Merdeka from 2008. Uh, we, are, we want people to talk to each other, to share our stories, to be heard. And then suddenly in 2011, we end up talking to the police, okay? Because they didn't like us talking so much. So, the police was here telling me, you know, you cannot do this thing, you know, and then they came into our event, and they were standing one row there, they were standing one row here, you couldn't tell who was more afraid of who. <laughs> so, the, the, then, but that didn't stop me. I decided, you know what, I'm going to organize other things. I organized an art bazaar called Art for Grabs, it's for activism and art bazaar, because I decided I have talents that can create spaces for other Malaysians to use as a platform for their issues as well. It's not just about me, it's us together. Every one of us can create spaces for each other. And then I end up in the police station this time, really. So I decided, I mean, this is the best LGBT activity you can learn to do, posing in the police station. <laughs> if you can, you can smuggle your camera in. Lah. Okay, so, the police station is actually a very, very boring place. Lah, and I, but I recommend Sento Police Station because they have two massage chairs. Okay. <laughs> After we got out of the police station, we also realized that, you know what, it's very important to show solidarity. So we attended vigils, we, we attended marches. This is a vigil for Maria Chin Abdullah when she was uh, uh, in solitary confinement. Because it's important to be involved. And then my, I remember my father telling me, you know, you should be careful what you say to the government, you could get into trouble, okay? No, you know, we are always worried about you because <laughs> everything you say, uh, get us into trouble. Then I said, but maybe, maybe if the government that we do change, then we won't be in trouble anymore. And he said, yeah, actually, you know what? If the government change, you can tell your niece and nephew that you helped to get that change. You were part of that change. And 
this is my father when he says niece and nephew, uh, he's acknowledging I'll never have children. So, so I decided I will be the uncle to the nation, yeah? So I decided to wear rain, my rainbow, and when I wear my rainbow, it's not just for me anymore. It's not just because I'm gay, but it's for people who cannot wear their rainbow yet. It's for people who are afraid. It's for people who want to show their solidarity to their friends. It's for everyone, whether they're in relationship or outside relationship, it's for us to be heard. All of us have different stories, different kind of ideas that we want to share about who we are because we all have different dreams. Yeah? Gay, lesbian, bi, trans, asexual, pansexual. There are many different ways of being and many different stories. But yet, every time you want to tell this story, there are people who are trying to silence you. They want to erase you. I feel like Marty McFly in Back to the Future, you know, watching my photo fade away and go, Hey, I'm here! You know, it's like being a gay man stuck in history and looking at the future fading away and saying, I'm here, don't erase me. And, and this is what it feels like to be censored. And this is why I take part in this. I want to be seen. And you have seen this photo. Now it's everywhere because they tried to erase it. Okay? <laughs> this is us being seen. And this is me because when I'm seen, it's also my way of saying, I see you. All of you, all of us, standing at the back of the room, waiting to be seen. And this is us holding our umbrella out so that one day, all of us could shelter under it. It's not just about me being seen, it's about all of us being seen together, all of us creating a space for each other. This is what it means to be citizen for me. This is what it means to be part of the rainbow. Thank you very much.